Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a cold one out here, guys. It is cold today. We got a ton, a ton of rain last night. Big storm blew through here. And then this morning for about 20 minutes, it snowed, but it snowed hard. And uh, we're gonna go down and check on the creek to see if I'm stuck on the mountain or not. The car didn't even want to crank this morning. They had some uh, two lines with like a lightning bolt through it. Don't even know what that meant. Hold on one second, looks like my door done blew open. Oh, it shut itself. The wind is strong, strong out here today. I'm gonna flip y'all around so y'all can see how white it is out here. Let's see if I can get the snow. Oh! Well, that didn't help too much. <laughs> Everything's still frozen. Maybe bouncing around will knock the snow off. See if we got any trees down. It looks like we got some in the middle of the road. We can get past this one. Woohoo! We are definitely in winter now, guys. Yeah, well this creek right here is a little bit higher than it was, so that's not a good sign. Let me see if I can wipe the windshield off for you guys a little bit, get past all this water. It's supposed to snow like five inches on Monday, so these are just little dustings. Oh yeah, that creek is flowing pretty hard. I don't think I'm going to be able to get off the mountain today. That's not good. It's not good. Let me stop here and see if I can wipe that off a little better for y'all. Is it better? It is a little bit better. Let's see here. Oh, oh. All right. We go. I know I sure need my truck with all this rain that we've been getting. Whew. I need the heater to hurry up too. Love seeing all the snow on the ground though. Culver is doing his job. We'll check that out on the way back. There's a lot of water flowing in it still. So far, we ain't too bad on the trees. Little stuff broke here and there, but not too bad. Yeah, it's got a little bit of flow to it. I don't think it's too bad. I don't know if I want to try to take the Jeep through it or not. Let's pull up here a little bit. Y'all get a better look. 
it's not rushing real real hard which is a good thing looks like we got a little bit of current happening there we're gonna go in it a little bit just to see how deep it drops off here you can kind of see it go down take y'all off here real quick if I can get my window down oh the window don't want to go down it's frozen all right we'll open up the door so right here at the bottom let's see if I can show y'all over there if I'm almost at the door right here you can kind of see couple inches then uh it's definitely gonna be above the, the bottom of the door but to be honest with you it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be and throughout the day it will drop a little bit so maybe by the end of the day I'll be able to get off but I think it's a little higher and I want to try to take in the Jeep right now for sure. So we're gonna back it up. Do, 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 do. Up the hill. Reverse. Well, looks like I'm on the mountain. I need my truck back, guys. If I had my truck, that wouldn't even be an issue right there. Because it's definitely not uh, flowing hard enough for that to be an issue. But with the Jeep, that could get sketchy. And I'm not willing to mess the Jeep up. But the good thing about I here is as long as it don't rain anymore today, it goes down about as fast as it comes up. So hopefully by this evening, it'll be good to go. And uh, yeah, I won't have to worry about it. But uh, yesterday, I actually had the Chevy dealership call me asking me where the transmission was. Thinking that they was calling the parts house and I didn't call me until like 4 o'clock in the daytime when they were supposed to have called me earlier in the day and let me know when the transmission was getting there. Which means that they didn't even make a phone call until almost closing time um, to kind of check on where it was at. And then didn't even have the right number, had mine. So uh, my confidence level is uh, dropping pretty, pretty substantially with this place here. And I am thinking about going to pick up my truck um, and maybe taking it somewhere else because I don't know. I just, it's not looking good. That's all I can say. And being that they've had my truck now for almost three weeks and they don't even know where the transmission is for it or when it's coming or anything else, that's not a good sign either. And with it being rainy season and winter right now, my truck's pretty important. So, it should have already been fixed. So, three weeks is a long time to go without your car. I'll show y'all something else here in a second. Hold on one second. There you go. As you can see, I closed in the end of the GOAT enclosure there and I put hay all in the bottom a whole bale of hay there for them to be able to uh, snuggle up in there and be warm I put Coco back in there she seems to be staying in there for the time being probably just because it's cold right now but uh they're good to go for the winter of course the rabbits are good they got hay and completely closed in 
But even as cold as it is, all the goats are out here hanging out like a hare in a biscuit. But they was in there this morning whenever it was snowing and I went out there and checked on them. So it was good to go. What you looking at, Domino? Domino, what are you doing? Come here. Come say hi. Domino's mm -hmm. sitting up on the seat because it's up high. So you can see out and see what's going on. Domino was out here playing in the snow for a little while this morning going to the bathroom. And then he's like, all right, I'm ready for my bed. But I hope everybody's having a good night, guys, or a good day, guys. Uh, try to stay warm. If y'all are getting any of this Arctic blast that's kind of coming through and then the rain, try to stay warm. It's a good day to uh, drink some hot chocolate and uh, kind of hang out inside. I'm actually working on a video for Come On Homesteading right now. Yesterday, I got quite a bit of stuff done, including uh, getting the goats and everybody ready for this winter little storm that's coming. Also did quite a bit of work on the tiny house and a little bit of stuff over there on the patio well shed. I don't know if that actually get out today, but it will definitely, uh, it should be out. It should be out by the time this is out. Uh, so we'll see. But I love every single one of y'all. Do something nice for somebody today, guys. Take a small step closer to your goals. Love that neighbor. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Keep it real.